Hello everyone and welcome back. This video is going to be about how we're going to actually manipulate the DOM. There are two steps to manipulating the DOM. First step is to select what you want to modify and the second step is to actually modify it. Very straightforward, very simple, two steps. Pick what you want and then make whatever changes you want. Here's an example. You create a JavaScript variable or constant called my title and you set it equal to document query selector h1. We'll talk about what query selector is and the other options you have, um, but you'll notice that query selector is a method on the document object and you just pass it in whatever value. So what this will do is this will return the first h1 element and then, now that we have that variable, we're going to modify it. My title .style .background color. so you'll notice my title is an object, it has a style property, and inside the style property are a lot of other properties, including background color, and you simply set that to green, and that will modify this element so that the background color is green. So we selected it with here, created a constant, and then we modified an element on that constant. The second example would be my paragraph equals document.querySelector and inside of that method, we pass a string for p, which will select the first p element, and then we simply modify that, the my paragraph. And again, these variable names don't matter. You can name it whatever you want. You name it x, you name it y, you name it my paragraph because I'm freaking awesome, whatever you want to call it, just like any other variable in JavaScript. But on that variable, on that constant, are the style property, and in the style property, one of the options is the color property, and you simply set that to orange, and that will change the text color to orange. So let's do a little bit of demonstration. Let's look at our website, clear that for the bad link, and let's change the background color of my title. Now we know here from the HTML that this is an H1, and there's only one H1 on the page, so we're just going to select it using query selector. Doc, or const my title equals document dot query selector, and it'll pass in H1. And now I have my title, and I can print my title out, and you'll see that it's an H1 element, and inside of there you have all these different elements, because this is a JavaScript representation of a DOM element. There's a lot of information on here, tons of stuff, tons of stuff, tons of stuff that we don't need. But it's there, just be aware that it's there. But now we can change those. So if you remember from the example, we looked at style.background color, so if we look in here, Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and you'll see that there is a style object. And inside of that, it has a lot of different elements. You'll see the mo the you'll see the Moz and the WebKit prefixes. Those are just for browser compatibility. But you have a ton of different things on here. Ton, 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 ton. Look at all these different elements on here. But one of the elements, let's find it, is background color. Let's see where it is. Border, 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 border. Back. Oh, there it went. Background color. Right now you'll see it's set to nothing. However, if we come down here and do my title dot style dot background color equals blue, it's been updated. And we can see that reflected in the object itself. You'll notice by the way that it has, has been updated right there. So if we look down, we come down to style and then scroll way down to background color, you'll see that, that has been updated and it was reflected on up here. We can do that same thing. Let's go ahead and clear the console. My title dot style dot color, and this will be the text color equals white. My title dot style dot font. Let's see, do font family maybe? equals cursive. In all of your CSS elements, you can update just like that. Very straightforward. Once you learn the syntax, you just have to select and then modify. Let's do another example. Const my paragraph equals document dot get element. And you can see there's a lot of different names, but let's let's do get elements by tag name and do a P. Now if you look at this, my paragraph You'll see that it's a little bit different because it's an it's a HTML collection or an array of objects because what this, the get elements by tag name, gets all of the elements that are P's. So if you had multiple P tags on here, it would get all of them, while query selector just does the first one. And we'll get into each one and the different types you can use and when to use each one, but for just for an example, now we have my paragraph, and we know this is a collection, and we want the first item on there. 
and you'll, you'll see Firefox hopefully has highlighted that for us so we can see it. And then we do, let's do dot style dot, I don't know, let's just set the color. Dot color equals orange. And now that's orange. So this is, this is very basic, but you can set your JavaScript code up to do all this kind of stuff. And it makes your website interactive. It lets your users do things. It allows your user to interact with your website using their clicks and their types and all kinds of stuff like that. And you just set it up on the back end with JavaScript. So in this video, we looked at the two steps to modifying the DOM. The first step is to select whatever element or elements you want to modify. The second step is to actually modify those elements. We use style.color, style.backgroundcolor, whatever. There's several more ways that you can update things. That's just one example. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.